In this video, you will be shown the Iowa DOT Standard Proctor Method. This field procedure will allow you to determine the optimum moisture content and maximum dry density of a soil. You may find the test procedure in Materials IM309. Equipment needed includes a 4-inch proctor mold with a volume of 1 30th of a cubic foot, a scale or balance capable of weighing at least 5,000 grams, a standard proctor hammer, and the hammer has a free fall drop of 12 inches and a weight of 5.5 pounds, sieves that are 3 quarters inch and a number 4, a rigid, stable concrete base or foundation, a straight edge, drying equipment such as a hot plate, microwave, or drying oven, miscellaneous equipment such as spoons, a scoop, and pans, and an extractor. The first step is quartering the field sample to a representative sample of at least 5,000 grams for a multi-point proctor or 3,000 grams for a one-point proctor. Allow the soil to dry down to at least 5% below your estimated optimum moisture content. You'll take the sample and run it over a 3 quarter inch sieve. If there are any rocks that are retained on this sieve, you can replace them with an equal weight of aggregate that is sized between a number four and the three quarters inch sieve from the same source. Or the easier way is just to break up all the material so it will pass through the sieve. You'll pulverize the sample so at least 90% of the non-aggregate material passes the number four sieve. Upon completion of this, material that is retained on the number four sieve is added back into the sample. At this point, add sufficient water to your sample. The amount of water depends on whether you're running a multi-point proctor or a one-point proctor. For a multi-point proctor, the driest point should be approximately 4% below optimum moisture. And then for a one-point proctor, you should moisten the soil to approximately 2 to 3% below optimum moisture. You will now compact the soil in the mold and three approximately equal layers or lifts on a stable concrete foundation. With each layer, you may lightly tamp the soil prior to compaction so it, it is not in a loose state. The soil will be compacted using the standard proctor hammer in 25 uniformly distributed blows. With the second and third layers, you'll adjust the soil amount as needed. However, never add soil after you've started compaction on a lift. After completing compaction on the third lift, carefully remove the collar with a twisting motion. The final lift must extend 0.1 to 0.4 inches above the height of the mold. This is measured at the lowest point. If the lift is within these measurements, take a straight edge and cut off the excess above the mold. You may fill in any divots that are created by small aggregate that were pulled out when striking off the soil with the straight edge. At this point, you will now weigh the soil and mold and record the mass. You'll then take your sample to the extractor and remove the soil. You will slice vertically through your specimen, and you will need at least 500 grams from one of the cut faces. This 500 grams will then be used to determine the moisture content, and this will be shown in a separate video for Materials IM335. If you are performing a multi-point proctor, 
you will break up the remaining portion of the soil sample and return it to your mixing pan. You will then add water and remix for your next point. If you performed a multi-point proctor, the data you've collected will be used to plot the points and you will draw a proctor curve to determine your optimum moisture content and maximum dry density. If you performed a one-point proctor, instead of drawing a curve, you will use the one-point proctor set of curves found in Materials IM 309.